Hi Crystal, hi Kobobo. Hi Hacker, can we get some yo's? Hello. Yeah, it's not clickbait. We are gonna talk about the Mario movie today. It feels like so long since I've streamed, but I streamed Sunday, but then I only streamed two days last week, so... Guys, I'm slacking. I'm so excited, though, because I'm mailing out a tester painter for a friend, just to make sure that whenever I do start selling, the packaging is adequate. So I'm mailing it out today. Oh my god, hi Kim. A little week before you stream like 16 is in a row. True! You know that I overcompensated and I tried it. That was a mistake, I guess. But that week was really fun. Where I stream like almost every day. I would stream every day, but I was like physically able to, you know? Oh no, you left your bus pass in the theater? Bro. You don't have a wallet? What? But hi Keelan. Yo. Right now, I'm writing all my topics down. Because I write, you know, on my cue card? My cue card is full, so I'm rewriting everything nicely. One of my talking points is Rainbow Jello Salad. <laughs> yeah, like, I just write down, like, little ideas, and then I look back at them, like, five days later, I'm like, what the hell am I thinking? I'm just like, huh? Okay, bye, Crystal. You better come back. That way you can have some fun. I got a minute 30 to go. I'm still trying to figure out why I wrote down Rainbow Cello Salad. <laughs> I'm clueless. I've never even had the Rainbow Jelly Salad. Oh wait, I was- okay, I remember why I was thinking about it, but I still don't know what I was gonna talk about. Oh my god, everybody go follow my art channel, please. Website is literally launching in 10 days. Have you had a marshmallow sod? No. But that's like some white people shit. Like putting marshmallows in a salad? <laughs> I think my mom made it one time when I was little, because she had to go to like a potluck at work, and there's a lot of white people there. And... She made it, and I looked at it, and I was like, what? Marshmallows with apples? That does not sound correct. Marshmallows was not in the Wiggles Fruit Salad song. Okay, that was a good joke. I should write that down. <laughs> Guys, 15 seconds! My hair looks like trash. Nobody should talk me, please. I dropped the pen. I'm live. Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. We had Kobobo, Keelan, Kim, Crystal, 
Hacker in the Just Starting Soon screen and Mac. Thank you guys for chatting. I appreciate you all. I'm live at a normal time today. We're we're freaking gaming. Um I was live on Sunday for Easter. If y'all missed it, I made Easter eggs. Isn't that crazy? Because I bought this 8 and 1 kit, literally $3. Insane. So, I made these little guys. Oh, wait, the crop is going to be ass. Oh, it's fine. Aren't they cute? I think my favorite is this one. The one with the little foam stickers, because that one cohesively looks the best. And then I said if... I said if we got a gifted sub, I would crack an egg. I would like Wait, is it muted? I'll mute it. If you want to hear it, go w w watch the video on Twitter. But I said- Because I didn't want to do it on stream, so I had my sister record me in our driveway. <laughs> it was so stupid. It was a good bit, it was a good bit. I also didn't paint my nails. You can- wait, look at this one. You can see that this one is a French tip, and that's on purpose. But yeah, so that was Sunday. <laughs> um, plan for this week is we're doing Mario Kart today. I will be reviewing the Mario movie, but we're gonna wait a little bit for that. We're gonna play some games, because it's been a while since we've played some mother freaking games on this channel. The neighbors watching you from the window be like, that's what my sister was scared of. She's like, what will the neighbors think? And like, they literally don't pay attention. They don't give a shit. Because like, all our neighbors are like middle-aged families. I mean, it would have been funny. Because there's these group of like teenagers that like fuck around, like <laughs> mess around in the evening. So I, I really wanted one of them to like walk by and like shit on us or something. I think that would have been funny. Um... Oh yeah, tomorrow we are starting a new game. I'll reveal it at the end of stream. And then, one-off game on Thursday or Friday. This week, since I am prepping for the art website to launch, I'm gonna make it public on Monday, probably. Because I'm gonna take some final images, adjust the listings, and get prices finalized. I'm gonna get that done by Monday. That way we can do the launch stream on Friday. So I have a very busy week, <laughs> and I'm also kind of DOM because I did my homework on Sunday and I got my feedback today, and I misinterpreted the directions because it was apparently like a four-part assignment, but I only did one part of it, so I got a 20 on my assignment that was over 10% of my grade, so oopsie. So I gotta make sure I do really good on my assignments this week to make up for it. But yeah, because right now I'm working on getting paintings made. Right now I have like three done and I gotta get, shit, 12 more done. Because I want to have a, at least three of each of these ready for launch. I mean, I'm not going to sell. Imagine I sell out. That'd be insane. <laughs> That'd be crazy. I don't even have the platform because like, okay. Whenever you're selling a product to like, or like whenever an influencer has like a promo or a coupon code, the companies only anticipate that 1% of their audience will actually purchase something. So, wait, how much is 1% of a... Wait, let me do the math. Let's say 2,000 times 0 0.01. Oh yeah, okay, that makes sense. So if someone has like 2,000 viewers, and then the company only anticipates that 20 customers will actually buy something. So if I have... Less than 10 viewers times 0 0.01, only 0.1% of people will buy something. So, I'm not anticipating to sell, and that's fine. You know, I think it's so funny when people launch, like, their small business where they sell, like, stickers or little prints, and then they don't sell anything, and then they get so sad. But it's, like, it's different if you're selling at, like, a market or a store, but when you're opening an online shop, your exposure is fully dependent on how you advertise and market yourself and your social media presence. So, I'm anticipating in like two years I can sell at least a hundred. That's my goal. That was my controller. Also, I changed my stream setup again. I rearranged some of my tables because I found it's best when I'm painting 
because I have a very wide stance when I paint, so it's best if... Okay, let's pretend this is my table, okay? So before, I used to paint like this, so I'd be sitting like here, and then my arms would be like this, and that would make my arms really sore. But now, I'm painting so when I sit, I'm over here. That way I have a lot more freedom to move my arms, and it's not laying on the table, and it's a lot better for my back. So I had to rearrange my stream setup. Because I only have one desk in my room. <laughs> so. The USB cam is. Because it used to be over here. Off camera. But now it's over here. Oh those are my headsets. <laughs> Oops. So yeah. That's basically all. I will be going over the, my full review of the Mario movie. In a little bit. So don't worry everybody. Let's play some freaking Mario Kart. Um. As usual, we'll do a little bit of computers, and then transition to online. If I get first in online, I will give chat a sub. Okay. Let's get started. Um... I haven't played Mario Kart in like two weeks, I'll do 150. Also, anime everybody, ask me anything and I will answer truthfully. Okay, I need to practice some of these other oops, DLC tracks. Because I don't have them memorized at all. <clears throat> I can't believe they made the Mario movie into a game. I know. You know what, I'm genuinely surprised that they didn't launch, like, a, a game based around the Mario movie. Because you know how there's, like, a Shrek game? I think there was, like, a Shark Tale game. Because <laughs> they usually release those in company with every with any film release, right? But there was no Mario movie game. They've only really been pushing um, Super Mario Brothers with the... Wait, what is it called? Super Mario Brothers... 3D World! Oh yeah, Super Mario 3D Brothers 3D World and then Mario Kart. They haven't really been pushing any new IP. It would have been a dub for advertising? I know! I feel like the only like promo that I saw that wasn't like Nintendo related was just like the McDonald's Happy Meals. And my sister really wanted one. But by the time we, were, we saw the promos, they were already gone in our area. Smasher Pass Lola from Shark Tales? I mean, her personality is kind of trash, but she was really pretty, not gonna lie. Oh, god damn it, that line. What is the worst thing I've ever cooked? Oh, okay. So, I had made this, like, clam chowder, and it was really good because I made the soup base really thick. But what happened was... We had these leftover fried oysters that I mixed into the clam chowder last second because I just wanted to use them. But the fried oysters weren't like cooked all the way. So when I put them into the soup, the ratio of clam to oyster was like one to five. There was way too many oysters. So anytime you took a bite, it was just pure raw oyster and it was disgusting. And I felt bad because I spent like so much time making it. And then it was probably like six dollars worth of groceries, so minus six dollars, everybody. Oh yeah, so, okay, we'll talk about this later. But I saw the Mario movie at the AMC theater. Amazing, I've done- God damn it, that turn. I've never gone to an AMC theater, but it was really nice, like actually really nice. And they had this promo to where you could buy like this Mario popcorn bucket. But since we went a few days after the launch of the movie, they were out of popcorn buckets, and my sister was, like, genuinely sad. What food chain would you never go back to? I've been an avid hater of Burger King for many years. There was one time when I was, like, six, and my whole family had massive diarrhea after getting Burger King. So I hadn't had Burger King for years. And I tried it again last year because we had a donation go on stream. It was all right, but everything was tasteless. You know, I like McDonald's because it's zooted with sodium. I would never get Burger King again. Even though there's one like right around the corner for me, I would never get it. Nothing from their menu was redeemable.
I laughed when they played Nintendo ads during the trailer. I think there was like a Splatoon promo at my screening. I'm so bad at this track, there's no way I get good at it. Also, I feel like I'm talking really soft. Because I think the popcorn tins they were selling, they were like this big. Because we saw pictures online, but they were like charging 15 bucks. And my sister doesn't even like popcorn, and neither do I. So she would have just paid $30 for two empty tins, because my roommate also wanted one. looked high quality at least. I think one of my most controversial takes is most any fan merchandise made in the states is gonna be such low quality. And not saying that you should DIY your own merch, but I would never pay like $20 for a popcorn tin. I know at Universal they were selling those um, plastic Mario Star popcorn bins that had like the lanyard straps. They were cute, but it's just plastic with your favorite video game item on it. It's so, like stupid in my opinion. <laughs> my sister's the opposite. She loves buying like anime, game merch. And I'm just like, I don't get it. I don't like collecting things. I think that's why. It's like, I'd very much rather buy someone's like fan illustration that is actually like a nice drawing or something. I'm throwing. I think it's also when you don't have a lot of space to keep or store your merch. It's kind of like just sitting in your room. Like my sister, she has this nice glass display case that she keeps everything in, but everything is contained. Like I get kind of overwhelmed if I go into someone's room and they have like merch everywhere like they have wall shelves they put it on their all the cabinets i think it's a bit too much but i i'm a minimalist i like having not a lot of things or maybe i'm just a hater i don't know <laughs> That's kind of me, yeah, so this is the guy who has like a hundred plus plushies in the room. The only reason why I remember that hacker is because I was editing a VOD for months ago and you said you had like 90 or 60 plushies or something. It was 60 or 90 plushies, shit. Oh, it didn't target me, Ao. They're all on your bed? I would literally suffocate. Because I don't need- I only have one blanket that's my size. And guys, I'm six foot two, so it's kind of easy for blankets to fit me. But I have two throw blankets that are like four feet. So whenever I sleep with them, they always ride up and then I wake up like the blanket's choking me. And I don't like it. Let me clarify. Did you ever get a body pillow? Um, <laughs> I technically have one. I don't use it anymore. I did not put any anime girls on the body pillow. It was just a plain black pillowcase. But, you know, I think it's comforting to sleep with a good amount of pillows. I also want to invest- or invest. I want to save up for a weighted blanket. Because sometimes I'll sleep with, like, extra blankets or pillows on me. Because then I can pretend that someone is cuddling me, you know? Because I am still on my incel arc. What'd I throw? Oh my god! <laughs> 
I didn't think the green shell would ricochet off of that. I really shouldn't have thrown. Prove it? What? <laughs> no! I will not be doing a sleeping stream. I've only been to one slumber party in my life, and I think it was in like fourth grade. That's because, granted, my parents didn't like whenever like people would have like a slumber birthday party, they would never let me stay for the slumber party part. Which I can respect, there's a lot of bad people in this world. You can't really trust anybody, let alone family. Um, but I think slumber parties are kind of lame. <laughs> I remember there was one time... Um, we had one of my sister's friends stay the night, and she pissed in the bed. <laughs> so, <laughs> after that, we didn't have any more slumber parties at our house. But granted, the, this individual had a problem. Like, they had issues with their urinary tract, so, you know, you can't get too mad at them. I think it was when they were, like, nine. It wasn't like they were little, little. I thought that only happened in movies. I mean, movies are based in reality for the most part, right? Unless... I don't like when people criticize movies for not having a good plot or a non-original story. Because in my opinion, there's no such thing as an original story anymore. Everything is transformative. There's no... And even when studios do like original concepts they get criticized for it and i think that's why there's such a huge trend of making remakes or reboots or sequels that no one really asked for is because that's the safe type of ip to where they're gonna make a guaranteed profit i mean i've seen in like the mario movie the barbie trailer just came out big companies aren't willing to invest in original ideas because it's not going to be a guaranteed success what are the odds? You guys must have dipped their hands in warm water. We did not do that. No. <laughs> we did not do it. Why would we make it so they would piss in our own bed? Oh yeah, I wasn't in the room. It was in my sister's bed. Never mind. I'm safe. Am my learn so horrible? I'm still warming up, everybody. One sleepover I had with a friend. I think this was when I was in like eighth grade. And we just stayed up all night watching SpongeBob. And it was like season one episode, so we could we literally stayed up all night just <laughs> quoting SpongeBob episodes. And it was such a good time. Oh, wait, I need to do a test stream to see how Twitch Prime watch-alongs work. So everybody, even if you don't have a Twitch Prime sub, still link your Amazon accounts to your Twitch. That way, because there's sometimes streamers, they can do watch-alongs. And it only works if the viewer has their Prime account link. And you don't have to pay. All I have to do is connect your accounts. I might test that. I have to test it before my birthday, so I have two weeks. Everybody, birthday stream is April 24th. I'll be doing 12-hour stream. It will not be a subathon. Don't worry.
TV shows at night always scared me as a kid because they were always weird. Yeah, Nick at night. I don't remember watching it often because we didn't have cable in our house. But I remember like going to my grandma's house and I would fall asleep with the TV on. And you wake up and see the weirdest shows. Then I would just turn the TV off because I'm not supposed to keep the TV on all night. I'm not 21. I'm gonna be 24. Well, it's the bit of thinking that I'm younger than I am. I feel like that's kind of weird. Yeah, I'm doing 200. I'm not a wimp. Let's go. Oh my god, my wheels match my outfit. <clears throat> I'm not that much of a boomer. I'm only 23. Also, I look super washed out today. I don't get why the white balance makes me look so fair today. Oh, it's 200 CC, I forgot. Dude, scam. I think this is my least favorite track that came in the DLC. It's not fun at all. Way too turny. Oh, I didn't know I could trick there. You learn something new every day. Oh my god, this is literally way too fast. <laughs> upload my clips to Instagram Reels, whenever it's finalizing the upload, it defaults to show your reel speed. And usually what I do is I don't watch videos, I just upload and log out instantly. But because of that, all of my suggested videos on my IG Reels feed are just innuendous, like, genitalia type jokes, okay? Very inappropriate shit. But I have a very vulgar sense of humor, so I like it, but... Since I don't interact with the videos, I just close and open the app. The algorithm, I think, believes that I enjoy that type of content organically, but I don't. Okay, I do not. I like actual funny humor. And so my my reels feed has been like been like that for two months now. And I didn't know how to fix it, but then I remembered if you click on like the menu, you can click on not interested. I only realized that like two days ago. <laughs> So, <laughs> anytime I get one of those vulgar videos, I'm like, I don't want this. So now my feed has become just like art videos. Again, finally. Oh my god. Because like, my biggest fear is since I have separate accounts for personal and then my clips account. Because if I ever get to a point to where I can have somebody manage my clips account, I would have to give them my login. And I do not want them to see my IG Reels feed being... Um... <laughs> genitalia jokes, you know? Is it men? Yes! Yes! It's like men making jokes about their wee-wees. <laughs> and I don't get why it's recommended to me! <laughs> I don't get it! <laughs> um... Yeah, guys, my feet is no longer that. It's... I promise. I've never heard or seen that in my life. I don't- I think it's because, you know how when you get a new, um, like, social media account and they suggest a lot of, like, um, like, thirst posts? I guess is what you can call it? Or thirst traps, that's what it's called. It's either dancing videos, thirst traps, and then, like, models. So I think the genitalia jokes is, like, a- off root of that. <laughs> Where to see our for you page? Then no, that's only my IG Reels tab. Don't worry about it. My TikTok for you page is just story times, um, queer people, and then some cooking videos now. Oh, dude, ricochet, easy.
I've also been getting a lot of like Reddit story times, but I feel like everybody is getting those. Oh, I can trick there? That's probably not a good idea. I'm still learning. <laughs> Dude, ran into a wall and then got shelled. Am I the asshole for not washing my dishes? Oh my god, I actually have a story. I got so... I was in a bad mood yesterday. I was in a really bad mood. So my sister, she... I don't know. She did this one DIY thing to where you make this, like, hair mixture from home. And it makes your hair less frizzy. I don't know. I don't get why she just doesn't buy a nice product. So I told her, and then my roommate, because uh, they were helping her make it. I was like, please. I just cleaned the kitchen. I deep cleaned the table. I was like, please. Can you please wash your dishes when you guys are done? Like, wash the blender, all that jazz. I go in the kitchen an hour after they finish. They did not wash the dishes. I was- I didn't say anything, I, I just- I just washed them myself, because I was like, obviously, they don't care! They don't give a shit. Because, like, I'm very much, like, I don't like asking for help, but whenever I do, like, just please do it. Like, just please. <laughs> and this was, like, right after I- oh, I- I told offline chat this. But one of my roommates got, like, this glass cabinet delivered in the mail, disassembled. So it was this long, like, six-foot box, 50 pounds. And nobody was home to help me bring it inside because the delivery man put it at our door upside down. Like, he put it down the wrong way. Like, it said this way up, and then he had it upside down. Fucking dumbass. So I brought the box inside, and I was like, well, I might as well bring this 50-pound box up the stairs, even though it's a two-person lift. Don't do this at home, kiddos. But I was feeling like... I was feeling strong yesterday. <laughs> so I, I lugged the big box upstairs and I was exhausted. I was literally shaking afterwards. I didn't realize that would physically exert me so much. Um, for context, I'm technically disabled, everybody. Smile. Um, so <laughs> I had to lay in bed for like an hour afterwards. I was like, uh-oh, I should not have done that. And then right after I b brought the box upstairs, like 10 minutes later, my roommate got home. They're like, oh, I was gonna text you about my delivery. I was like, well, I already brought it inside, Jagaz. <laughs> I mean, I'm definitely still the strongest in the house. Cause like, there are times to where I can have like, brief strength. But a lot of the times I'm just hella weak. And I, I get so frustrated. Because whenever I go in for like appointments, because like for neurology, they usually test your nerves and then your strength during the visit. So whenever I go to the visits, I have like decent strength. Because they basically just have you like push things or pull in their fingers and cross their fingers, they don't fart or something. But. <laughs> so. I hate this drag. So whenever I go in for the visits, they're like, oh, your, your strength seems great. I don't get why you're visiting our office today, but it's like, just because I'm fine now doesn't mean the other 12 hours of my day I'm at full, I'm at full power, <laughs> you could say. Anyway, that was yesterday. Because, like, I'm the type of person where I can muster through things and not really think about the consequences after, you could say. I don't know. There's the dark stuff with Luigi and Bowser. What is the dark stuff? Like slime? Lisa looks like she could press 150. Um. What? She cut me off. Okay. I feel. I don't know. I I I can't lift up like this, but I I can like. If I have to like carry like a 50 pound box bag of rice or a big box I can lift up because like collectively if I use my whole body I'm strong but my arms aren't as I've never okay <laughs> I remember taking because I took walking class for PE in high school and there was one week where we had access to the weightlifting gym at the school so I couldn't even lift the bar <laughs> that was back in high school that was Almost six years ago. Holy. But I'm probably stronger now, but... 
Wait, people ship Bowser and Luigi? <laughs> Wait. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I will get my full review later. Later, everybody, later. I'm not gonna leak all my jokes now. Wait, this is 200? I keep on forgetting. I could have been saved. Okay, I'm actually throwing. <laughs> you haven't been on that side of the Mario community? No, I usually just keep to myself. I play my games. I don't get too involved in fandom culture anymore because I was super into fandoms when I was in late junior high and then high school. Like, I was super into... I was super into Supernatural and Yuri on Ice. Those were my sub-communities when I was younger. And I remember I would check the Tumblr tags every day to see any new fan art or like GIFs and stuff. But then once I graduated high school, I was like, I should like be working on stuff. I should not be spending two hours a day on Tumblr with stuff that isn't really real. So that's how I got out of the fandom black hole, you could say. Keelan's acting like everyone knew that. Oh no. Do you ship Dean and Kaz? Oh, no comment. <laughs> okay, let's just say who wouldn't. Who wouldn't? Wait, I'm in first? Ain't no way. Shit! I almost had that turn. I almost had it. I had it and then I didn't have it. You know what? I do have followers. So if you want to become, if you want to join the existing followers, <laughs> click the button. You get cool emotes and the ability to dive in the chat because we are 30 minutes in the stream. I made our follower goal, everybody. That was such a bad transition. I thought people did this all over my TikTok and Twitter. I think that's more of a self-report on your end, my guy. <laughs> How'd you cut your mouth from eating bread? Oh wait, was it like a harder bread? Because there's been a few ciabattas that are like a few days old and it's way too hard. <laughs> I never play as Daisy. Damn, only two waves left. Guys, Amy, ask me anything. I actually have to think about what's my favorite day. <laughs> So I love Kobo's question. <laughs> Dude, imagine I go on. I don't think I'd be able to go on though, because I have too much coffee. I know the basics. Oh, it's 200. It's 200. So I'm usually not too big on holidays. But I know when I was younger, my favorite day would have to be Halloween. Because I didn't necessarily like dressing up as much, but being able to get free candy was pretty cool. And also getting to hang out with my friends in costume, that was kind of cool. Because even if I wasn't too into dressing up, they'd be super into it. And that was fun, just watching them enjoy it, you know? I never really liked my birthday. Because I never really got to choose what I did. Because, you know, when you don't have a lot of money, you're just kind of like, oh, we'll get you a cake, and that's kind of it. But I think it's because I don't really look forward to any events or days within the year. Because I essentially take life one day at a time. Like, I'm essentially- I've been in survival mode for way too many years. And I'm still in survival mode. So I'm just, like, enjoying- every little part of any day that I have, you know what I mean? 
So I think as of recent, I don't really have any favorite days as an adult. If you could live in a different state, which state would it be? Ooh, I love Washington, honestly. We heckin' love Inslee, okay? You know, all of his new legislation they're passing. We love Inslee. Oh my god, fourth place! Second, okay. Hmm. I don't know what other state. Because Oregon is racist, okay? We know that. But California is, like, too lib. But Washington is also pretty lib, too, though. I don't know. I, I would say, like, Florida, because I feel like Florida would be insane. That way I could say I lived in Florida for a year just to experience it. No, I think, I think Washington is pretty solid. Like, it's not often that I feel unsafe in Washington. Whether it be, like, violence or hate crimes. Okay, wait. During the initial peak of the pandemic, there were a lot of hate crimes towards um, Asian people in Seattle, so that was kind of scary. Um, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Maybe Washington is actually really bad. But I think no matter where you live, you can kind of keep yourself in your own little bubble. Like if you keep to yourself, don't explore too much, don't expand your social circle. Don't expand your social circle. It's very easy to be isolated no matter where you live. Especially when so many services can be done online. Like, you can get basically anything delivered now. If you're a homebody, you can literally stay home all day and you'll be able to be fine. I feel like every state has a con. I agree. Oh, I lived? Ain't no way. Do you have any book recommendations? No, I'm not a nerd. I don't read. <laughs> no, like, actually, I haven't read a book. Like, sat down and read in a long time. I think it's just because my attention span is so bad. And also, when I was little, I was incentivized to read faster and not necessarily process and comprehend what I was reading. So now, as I read as an adult, I can't even, like, understand what I'm reading because I'm just focused on, like, being quick. Favorite soup? Hmm. I like... I like cream-based soup. Like, the meal prep I made yesterday, I made kale soup. Really good. Toscani? No. It's called something. But I essentially, I brown the veggies, or I sear the veggies, and then I boil them in either veggie or beef broth. For 45 minutes so like potatoes and carrots and then I brown sausage and then I brown the kale that way it's not too I guess raw when you eat the soup and then you add cream at the very end but you only need like a quarter cup of cream nothing too crazy what is my opinion on Neff and the try guys he cheated on his wife which is bad he also did it on or did so with a co-worker, which is also considered uh, statutory R.A.P.E., which is doubly bad. It does not matter if it was a consensual relationship. If it's with a co-worker with a superior, that is still considered assault, legally. Um, so it's very bad. Don't bang your co-workers. Okay, don't bang your boss. Because even if it seems like it has well intentions, you never know what the ulterior motive is. But yeah, bad guy. I also agree with the sentiment that anybody who markets himself as a family guy, or like, a really good husband, and that's like their whole shtick, or their whole character, I think that's kind of a sussy thing. Because if that's your whole identity, you're gonna want to maintain that identity no matter what underlying bad things could be happening. Agree, power dynamic is a no-no? Yeah, it's illegal as well. Do you believe once a cheater, always a cheater? Ooh, interesting. Okay, okay. I would have to say yeah. 
I think there's a difference between, like, younger people, like high schoolers, because obviously you're not emotionally mature enough. But if you're someone who cheats as, like, a 25 or, like, a late 20-year-old, you're obviously not emotionally mature enough to handle a committed relationship. And that's fine. You just have to express that to your partner. You cannot want to see other people without expressing that to your current partner, right? Because if you do so without expressing it, then that's crossing boundaries. If you want an open relationship, that needs to be communicated before you do any action. What's your definition of cheating? Mm. Hmm. I think... Uh, I was gonna say crossing any boundary, because I think emotional cheating is... There's a line, right? Because uh, I, I think you can... Okay, let's say... I have a boyfriend, okay? Scenario. Let's say this person is talking to other girls. Normally, that's fine. You can have friends that are girls, that's totally fine. You can hang out with your friends that are girls, as long as it's not romantic. Like, going out for lunch is does not equal banging. I think it's fine to... For your partner to see other people, just not intimately, you could say. I think there's a difference between committing an action, like touching, versus hanging out. There's a difference. Oh, easy! But I think ultimately, what cheating is, is not respecting boundaries, or not respecting communicated boundaries. It's, it's the same thing. I said the same thing. Because like I said, if someone wants an open relationship, both parties have to be consenting to it. Because, you know, we don't want no STDs. And some people want monogamy, and that's totally fine. And some people want polyamory, and if they want that, that needs to be communicated before any actions that violate someone's boundaries are broken. And if someone wants an open relationship, and their party doesn't agree, then that conversation needs to be had. Oh my god, the computers are getting so smart! It ultimately comes down to communicating. If you feel like you're having issues in a relationship, or you're tempted, quote-unquote, to cheat, then you need to talk about it. You should never get to a point where you commit the action. Because once you cheat on somebody, you can't undo that. You can't undo the trauma that that person experiences, the lack of trust they feel towards others. It's not simply a mistake. I haven't been cheated on, let me say. <laughs> I'm just talking from, like, just what people have experienced. Stories, talking to friends, and also, like... Because any relationship is founded on the idea of boundaries. And also, in turn, learning how to communicate and, I guess, work with your partner. Oh, why am I doing battle? Ew. Dude, I'm just playing all the girlies today. Also, like, I've never been tempted to cheat. Like, when I was in a relationship years ago. Like, if I saw someone in public I thought would be attractive, I'd just be like, oh, they're cool. I was never, like, I never had the urge, but that's because I had so much, like, care and infatuation with my previous partner. I, I would never... Like, the idea never crossed my mind. Boop. 
that's because I'm more so like a an emotional person rather than physical, you could say. Like I have to genuinely like for, I have to genuinely like or care for someone in order to pursue them. And that's why I haven't dated since. Come on! What's wrong with battle mode? The reason why I hate battle mode in 8 Deluxe is that there's no auto accelerate. Like, it's genuinely really frustrating to play for me. Like, having to hold down the A button, I can't do it. It's too much for my little big brain. <laughs> yes, I do have a big brain. But it's, it's kind of like when I have to press too many buttons in a game, it's... The brain signals do not transmit to my hands in time. Because whenever I play Mario Kart, my sister always wants to play battle mode, but I, I'm like, nope, it's too hard. I can't do it. Dude, stream sniping! <laughs> Deserve. Super hard, think it'll make me go faster. I feel like everybody does that. But I think that's also why my pro controller buttons are so busted. Are so busted. Dude, I fell off! Oh my god, these computers! That's the second time I've gotten green shell sniped from the front. Jesus Christ, who got automated? joke is so weird. <laughs> I won't leak. I won't leak. It was a serious question? No. Do I'm gonna leak what- I'll leak what Kim said. She said, do you think Chlamydia would be a nice name? <laughs> That's so weird. It's kind of like Shith Bead. My kid is gonna be bullied out of their mind. Yeah, I think the tournament will be all items. Oh my god. I want to see the Mori movie again. But just to, like, experience it one more time. I will be giving a full review shortly. Though in, like, three hours. <laughs> imagine. Dude, I can't imagine stalling for four hours. Okay, I'm not doing too bad. I saw the Mari movie on TikTok already. Really? Just send me the link. Go! I have been getting some good movie recommendations from TikTok though. Like I'll watch like the first five minutes and then look it up and watch it. In its entirety, because watching movie legally, watching movies legally and not pirating them is very cool. I want to put it in the Discord server. What? You better not tell me there's an unofficial piece in underscore seventeen fan Discord. If you sing today, can you sing peaches? No. I don't know the words. I will sing a song? I can't pause. Oh wait, this is a spoiler! <laughs> oh no. Okay, I will sing a song. 
Let's say. <clears throat> okay, chat. People can use their channel points. Now we'll sing a song for the chat. I'm going to go ahead and link a playlist to the previous singing clips. <clears throat> you make me. I gotta find a song. I kind of want to do Come Through Again. No, I will not be doing Big Time Rush. Actually, I want to do tattoo. I feel like I just did tattoo, though. It's fine. <clears throat> yeah. If everybody could spam your favorite animated to your favorite hype emotes, I'd appreciate it. I'm going to sing Tattoo by Jordan Sparks. Anytime I sing this, this gets copyrighted on YouTube, but that's because I sing it really good. I'm going to do the first verse. And maybe the last one if I feel like it. <clears throat> no matter what you say about love, I keep coming back for more. Keep my head in the fire. Sooner or later, I get what I'm asking for. No matter what you say about life, I learn every time I bleed. The truth is a stranger, so is in danger. I gotta let my spirit be free to admit that I'm wrong and then change my mind. Sorry, but I have to move on and leave you behind. I can't waste time, so give it a moment. I realize nothing's broken. No need to worry about everything I've done. Live every second like it was my last one. Don't look back, got a new direction. I loved you once, I needed protection. You're still a part of everything I do. You're my heart, just like a tattoo. Just like a tattoo. I'll always love you. Yeah, that was the first verse. Maybe I'll try the final one. Or at least the bridge. <clears throat> if I live every moment, I won't change any moment. It's still a part of me and you. I will never regret you, still the memory of you it marks everything I do. Oh. I'm I'm practicing. I, I can't do that vocalization. I tried. If you don't know this song, look it up. It it's so pretty. If I live every moment, won't. I try. Well, thank you, Acker, for redeeming. I hope you liked it. You also know what time it is. It's time for an ad, baby. Because we are an hour in a stream. So if you want to avoid that ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Skip your coffee, get ad-free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. Smile. It's a moderate get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. <laughs> Three out of ten, shut up. <clears throat> if I live every moment. 
not gonna while. Is it usually there's always somebody home with me? It's embarrassing singing with people at home. Also, my sister teases me all the time about it. Because whenever I ask her, I'm like, do I sound good? She's like, you sound okay. And I'm like, what does that mean? She's like, you just sound okay. She's not very encouraging, <laughs> I've learned. Like, whenever I try a new recipe, I'm like, how'd you like it? She's like, it was okay. But as she's eating, she you can tell that she's enjoying it. I think it's because she doesn't understand that different words have different connotations and meanings. Which is fine. You know, some people are just like that. I can't believe this. Is this a bananas only tournament? I'm gonna try for this path. <laughs> I'm never gonna get on that ramp. It's more difficult to get on the get on than the ice ice outpost one. Which is saying a lot. hairstyle to do whenever I'm like just by myself I usually just do a ponytail I don't do anything too crazy but today I have just like two strands pulled back because I don't like when my hair falls in my face I think the only reason why I would ever cut my hair short is so I don't have to tie it up but I also like the look of my hair down I don't necessarily use, like, specific curl products. I have to actually look at them. I have a leave-in conditioner and then I have, like, a curl definer, but I don't really use the curl definer. Because it, it makes my hair feel, like, sticky. Or not sticky, it makes it feel like... Because the way it dries, it makes it feel like hairspray and I don't like the texture of it. Because, like, my main focus is I just want my hair to feel nice. That way, if I have it down, I don't feel it on my neck. Because before, I didn't do any hair care. I used to essentially have, like, dreadlocks, but that's because I was never taught how to care for my hair. And my parents, once I turned, like, six, they were like, you know, we're not going to help you brush your hair anymore. So if you don't want to brush it, that's your fault. So I would have, like, lint and shit in my hair. So whenever there was like a lice outbreak in school, everybody in class immediately thought it was me because I had like a rat's nest. But you know, that's fine. I'm over it. So, I didn't start using like any product until I was like 20. No, 21? Yeah, 21. Because I remember the day I got my hair trimmed and I got, like, product in, I was wearing a mask because this was during pandemic. And the worker, after she cut my hair, she was like, oh, look at your beautiful face. And she literally yanked my mask off my face. It was very... Traumatizing isn't the right word, but it was very, like... I felt violated, you know what I mean? It, it was just a very weird experience. <laughs> And she's like, look at your beautiful face! And you have this lovely haircut now! But it was actually kind of shit because she gave me quote-unquote layers, but it just made my hair look really, like, wide and cool for you. Oh wait, 45? 
Wait, 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 wait. Oh! I thought that was race three. I was like, damn, am I gonna try to get a three star? Guess not. Yes or no? No. Ew, I got a silver trophy. Have you ever gotten a three star? The new DLC tracks that came out in this past wave are very difficult. They all have these... They all have like an insane amount of turns, so it's very hard to memorize them, in my opinion. Okay, let's do online. If I get first, you guys get a sub. Hashtag real, hashtag not clickbait. <laughs> Wait, who do I never play as? I never play as these guys. I'll play as Lemmy. Oh my god, hi Chris. Can we get some yo's? Oh, I'm starting! Okay, let's see. It's 12.14, so we're gonna do predictions every 15 minutes, everybody. Get ready to gamble. So do you think I will get first by 12.30? I've been performing, um, undecently today. But I surely I'll get it first, surely. You got ungratted? Let's go! Let's freaking go! You are now three. Yeah, I'm gonna get first. I'm gonna get first. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't like this character. Cause Mohawk scares me. Okay. So I'm not necessarily scared of talking to people, I just really hate texting. Cause I'm the type of person to hyperanalyze any social interaction I have. Whether it be like talking with a friend, talking to a Twitch chat. So texting? gives me so much anxiety. Like, if somebody doesn't reply, like, let's say within an hour, I reopen, like, the text log to see if, like, maybe the app was glitching and I just missed a message, or maybe I said something weird to make them not want to reply. Because I honestly, I respect people's time, you know, people got lives, I don't expect instant reply backs. But if somebody takes longer than an hour, I'm just like, did I say something wrong? So then I'll read back, like, the past 10 messages I sent, I'm like, is it me? Am I the problem? Or like, sometimes I'll randomly remember fights that I've had with friends and then I'll search in the conversation to see like what I said in the fight and I'm like, are they thinking about that fight too that we had a year ago? Nope. Talking to someone like on the phone or in a call, you can tell their tone and inflections. But with text messages, it's so much more difficult. So whenever I text, that's why like I usually put a lot of like smileys or emojis. That way people can see what I guess emotion I'm trying to convey. Cause like even if you're trying to text somebody a joke, you can't even tell if they're joking sometimes. So I usually will put like the the sweat smiling face emoji if I'm joking. Same? Okay, good. It's not just me, is everybody just like super anxious? I don't know. Oh my god, what are the odds? I can't. <laughs> oh, he's crying so sad. He's actually crying. <laughs> Oh my god, hi Mac. Can we get some yo's? That was embarrassing. 
Also, for the lore heads, my Pikachu- Oh shit, I didn't even look. For the lore heads, my Pikachu did fall off my chair this morning. You just did not see it because it was before stream. And I was rearranging my room. It fell off the chair. I'd cry as well, getting 12. Well, that happens a lot for me, and I can't be crying on stream every time I play Mario Kart. Ain't no way. Yeah, it does fall off the chair sometimes. Duct tape is not as strong as it says it is. Hey, Chatters, I need to test something. Because Streamlabs has been glitching today, I want to see if alerts are working again. Nope, alerts are not working. Sag. Annoying. See, I wasn't lying. No, it's up right now. I can see it in my viewfinder. Am I the asshole for crying because I got my <laughs> No, that would make you a pity farmer, which is just as bad. Did you like the Mario movie? I will be giving a full review after Mario Kart, so don't worry. Spoilers? Yes. Wait, this is my track! Okay, Lemmy's little squeals of delight are actually adorable. Maybe I'll make Lemmy my main. He sounds like an excited little, like, five-year-old who just got their Robux. They stole their mom's credit card. No way! <laughs> Wait up in second? Holy moly. Mods, clip it! I'm in first! I'm an asshole. Am I the asshole from throwing fire behind me? Yes, I am. <laughs> oh my! I can't have anything nice for you. If that is not a fall from grace, then I don't know what is. Oh my god. Who happens to be? Fuck this. How did that even happen? Somebody clipped that. That was stupid. Actually dumb. I need to file a formal complaint. I can catch up, I can catch up. Bullet Bill. My goal is to get 11th. I got 10th, baby. I had first for like a little bit. I had it. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry. I don't get like too mad whenever I play games on stream because all I can think about is if I were a viewer watching the streamer fail it would be funny. So that's all that's why that's why whenever I like get mad I'm always like trying not to smile. That's always what I think about. Because if I were a viewer I would just be typing LMO <laughs> or L Yeah, let's get a dub. It chose mine! It brings you joy to see me fail? No wonder you like small streamers. 
aware. Not too bad. I usually don't go that path and I did not like it. Oh, come on! Okay, I'm not- I can come back. I can get first. Not that far behind. Sorry, I'm not talking, I'm charting. I'm being a real gamer. That motherfucker! I knew that was gonna happen! That guy's name is Wobbuffet. That's pretty funny. I've decided I'm not gonna try hard. I'm just gonna play to have fun. We're gonna do story times. I'm never try harding ever again. Cause it just it just doesn't work. And that's not what I meant to do. We're gonna send Naruto. <laughs> Live, laugh, love. I have been doing a lot of laughing, though. Not a lot of loving, Sedge. <laughs> that should be my first tattoo. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Did you play the fishing tourney last Saturday? Oh, no. I haven't played Animal Crossing since the last time we played on stream. It was like a month. Animal Crossing honestly kind of fell off. I, I've been gravitating more towards story games. Like, when I was researching games to play for stream, I was looking at games that I just want to play offline. Side of the ramp, that was actually kind of cool. <laughs> they dodge all the items. <laughs> Oh 
Am I gonna do a bit for 420? Probably not. Because I'm honestly probably gonna be prepping for the art website launch. Plus, weed is not my thing. What if I just do this? I was gonna try and go on the green, but then I was like, I should not do that. Okay, cool, be Mikey Ketchup. Wait, hold! Hold! I'll take a fifth. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Watch me do special cooking. Wouldn't that be... I think a good stream idea for 420 would be to do like a Alice in Wonderland bit. Where you know how she eats the cookies that make her big and small. But you just do like edibles. I would never- somebody can take that idea, but I think that would be a good bit. Like, you do like a Alice in Wonderland cosplay. And then you just eat cookies. <laughs> I would not do that, because my doc said maybe don't try edibles yet. Does anybody ever do, like, the little heart monitor thing? The only time I've seen this being used in a game is during the ring fit and you would test your heart rate. I don't understand how it tests it, though. Ooh, Snowland! Yeah, I think the TOS for... Can you eat edibles on the stream? I know you can smoke on stream, you just can't do it in a state where it's illegal or if you're underage. I don't know what the TOS for edibles is. Similar to alcohol, you just can't do an exorbitant amount. Like, you have to smoke responsibly. You can do it off camera and say it's a special treat. True. <laughs> Bro. I literally look at you. Do you have any concerts you want to go to? No. I've never been a concert type of person. I am now 23 and I've never gone to a concert. I think it's just, I've, I don't like crowds at all. I don't have a agoraphobia, I think it's called, but I'm getting there. Also, like, audio during concerts, I don't think it's going to be too good. Like, I'm so used to hearing, like, high-produced music with headphones on. I don't think I could stand, like, concert audio. I prefer Broadway shows. I want to see some Broadway shows, personally. Because there's, like, a few local theaters I could go to. I'm in 10. Oh my god. But I know in Seattle they usually have some showings. But Seattle's a bit away from me, so I can't go too often. Come on, give me ninth. 
Wait, it's 12.33. <laughs> Did they get first by 12.30? No. <laughs> hey, no production. Go Gamma. Wait, Wildwoods is my track. If I get Wildwoods, I will win. Damn, a lot of people chose it. Interesting. Go Gamba, do you think I'll get first by 12.45? Go Gamba. 6k in doubt? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I was originally gonna go to school for theater tech. I think that'd be kind of fun. Since you're doing remote school, do you have a student idea for discounts? No, I don't. I don't. And it sucks. I miss out on that 10% discount anytime I go shopping. But what we used to do is whenever we'd go shopping with my dad when we lived together, he would pull out his um, veteran's ID. And then if they didn't offer discount, he'd be like, oh, damn. <laughs> I don't know where that bit was going. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna get first. I told you this is my track. really has faith in you? I mean, why wouldn't they? Do I have a bad track record or something? Look, I'm sixth! Wait, I can go for this gift? Ain't no way! Oh my god, I'm, I'm gonna scream. Okay, I'm not doing too bad. I'm in sixth. Name a few reasons. Shut up. Shut up. I'm not that bad. I'm I'm like decent. I have a six thousand score. On Reddit, having a six thousand online score is um better than most people. Wait, third? Oh my god! Oh my god! Ain't no way. Blue shout. Blue shout. Wait, there's a there is a blue shell coming. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Everybody hold, everybody hold. Wait, no, the red shell got cracked. Come on. Okay, if my if my red shell hadn't gotten destroyed, I would have won. Cause they didn't have any protection, I don't think. I would have won. See, I told you this was my track. Also, that was crazy. You know what else is crazy? Following the channel. <laughs> it's another 30 minutes of stream, so if you're new here, click the follow button. You get cool emotes and the ability to type in the chat. Can we hit our follower goal today, everybody? And if you're already following, make sure you have notifications turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. Okay, that race was actually really good. I could have used my items a bit better, but I was... I was scared. I was scared. I was screaming. <laughs> Wait, I want to see who gambled. Man, Chris gambled 6k doubt, and then Kobobo with 10,000 believe. Wait, Kobobo's a believer now? That can't be right. Wait, 200cc? Uh oh. Uh oh, this could be really bad. More like it is gonna be really bad.
I think one of the best and worst things that food packaging has done in the past years is include the calorie count for serving size and then servings per container. I think when you look at like a tiny tub of ice cream and you see oh, only 20% daily sugar for one serving, that's not too crazy. But then when you look at the label and it says five servings per container, so if you had a really sad night and then you chug that whole container down, that's a hundred percent of your daily sugar. <laughs> so I think it's a blessing and a curse that they started changing the labels to that. Because whenever I read a label, I look at how much like carbs and sugar is in it. Because those are the things of concern. Because I have a history of diabetes in my family. But I just gotta be careful. That doesn't mean I don't avoid sugar, I still heckin' love sugar. But I know I feel extra sad now whenever I do <laughs> overeat more than one serving. Okay, this track is- I thought it'd be easy at 200, but it's actually kind of crazy. I missed the skip! Okay, screw this track, honestly. <laughs> His cry is so funny. <laughs> I don't read the galleries. I just be eaten. But see, I am, I am almost at my peak weight, and that's really bad. I've never broken two hundred though. I mean, my BMI is fucked because I'm so short. If I was like four inches taller, my BMI would be fine. My gosh darn ancestors being so short. If you have a favorite kind of math, don't talk to me. Um. Hmm. I really liked. Okay, I liked most math because I feel like math is pretty straightforward and simple. Like, it's usually just plug and play and applying what you do know. The only thing I didn't like was in Geometry, where you had to write essentially paragraphs to justify your answer. That was D.U.M. I feel like nobody liked that. Statistics, then? Guys, I went to art school, not a real college, okay? I'm still in art school. Oh my god. I'm talking like I've graduated when I have two months left. Wait, I'm in third? Not too bad. Dreams are gonna go crazy once I graduate, though. I'm gonna have so much more time. And also less stress. Ricochet easy! Wait, wait, wait. Maybe I can win this? Maybe not? Easy? Yoshi, that way he can maybe steal my red shell. <laughs> you know, I feel like I'm playing fine today. I'm not playing amazingly, but I'm not doing it horrid. Re replay the second place I got earlier, please. is actually twitching.
is 12.43. Cheap Cheap Beach, another one of my good tracks. Oh my God. Surely I'll get first. It will happen. I still have no idea why I wrote on Rainbow Jello Salad for my cue card. Oh, a perfect boost? I think one of the most frustrating comments I ever get whenever I upload clips is, are you lip syncing? And it's just so funny to me. <laughs> Cause why would I lip sync? <laughs> just using like my camera, right? And also like the gameplay that I have. Why would I choose to lip sync and put gameplay of me playing Mario Kart not amazingly? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Oh my god! See right there? Why would I keep that in the clip if I was lip syncing? Whenever I get one of those comments now, I just reply with, Oh, I'm a ventriloquist. Because it's either a comment being like, Oh, are you lip syncing or is your mouth not moving? And I think they're annoying because it's like... Observational humor can be funny, but if you're just making an observation, that's not funny. So I just reply with, I'm a ventriloquist. That way, I can kind of like troll people a little bit. Because I think that's going to be a long standing bit. But honestly, I probably could be a good main troller because I've noticed when I talk, I don't like open my mouth a lot. Like, I don't show my teeth when I move my mouth, I've noticed. So that's why it looks like my mouth is moving. Oh my god. What's the dumbest comedy you've ever gotten? No, <laughs> I don't usually see people commenting as dumb because I just assume that the ones that people are just saying offhandish stuff, they're just like actually clueless. But I don't, I can't recall any stupid ones. It's because I don't, I choose to not remember any negative comments I get. Like, I don't screenshot them, I don't repost them, I just delete them or respond to them jokingly and move on. Because if I, if I let it stick with me for too long, then it's gonna ruin my day. So I, I genuinely don't remember, like, anyone, anyone that I can quote. I only really screenshot the super nice ones. That way, if I'm really sad, then I can just find a nice one. Eason has no teeth confirmed. My grandpa did have dentures. And that's very triggering for me, so don't talk about that. <laughs> Okay, it's 12.45. I did not get first. I'm sorry, believers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He bit her, that's why? <laughs> no, my teeth are kind of fucked because... Whenever... There was a period, like... About a year and a half ago where I was like really sad so I just never brushed my teeth because like one of the first thing that deteriorates with your mental health is like your hygiene and your personal health so I just didn't fucking brush my teeth for like three months straight and it was really bad I would still do mouthwash but I didn't brush my teeth um so my teeth are like kind of fucked <laughs> like they're not that crooked it's just they're never gonna be like white white again that's fine you know, how to live with your mistakes. I said yes, I believe in you. Thank you. Thank you. And welcome in, Quack. Can we get some yo's? Wait, I think this is 200 CZ. Hold. Oh, I should have saved the mushroom for the skip.
Yeah, but I do brush my teeth every day now, so don't worry, everybody. I'm back on track. No! I'm not fast enough! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's been a while, don't worry about it. You know, life happens. Can't necessarily watch streams, so don't worry about it. Do you floss? No. I don't like the sensation of floss, so I don't do it. But I brush my teeth really good. I know I should. But if you don't go to the dentist, then the dentist will never ask you, do you floss? Problem solved. Okay, I'm gonna save these for the skip. Get ready, everybody. Dude, I nailed it. It's actually correct. What other games do I play? Um. Exclamation game list in chat, and it'll link you to all the games I've pre played previously on stream. But for stream as of right now, just Mario Kart, and then story games, and then one-off games. That's the current schedule. Thank you, Hacker. No! I just wish the stupid piranha plant would aim behind you. That makes so much sense, but of course it's not. I hate this game. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Wait, I have 7,000 points. I lied earlier. I have 7,000 points. Wait, should I play Fortnite again? No, I have never played Minecraft. I literally have never played. Even offline. I've never played. Minecraft is for literal babies. And adults who do not want to grow up and face reality. I'm subscribed to your Clips channel. Let's go! Plus one, everybody. My Clips channel has gained like 70 subs in three weeks, which is insane. I know compared to big channels, that's nothing, but... That's a lot. You should definitely play Minecraft on stream. It's so chill. No. I don't want children viewers. Whenever you play Minecraft, you get like little 10-year-olds. I won't- yeah, I will not play Roblox either. <laughs> Roblox is, like, not nice to look at, honestly. Also, when you play games that have, like, a younger demographic, then the chat is just so annoying. Because I don't like when people... Uh, let's- how do I say this? If you're- if you're in a stream, for me as the streamer and me as the viewer, I like when the commentary is like funny story times or like trying to be entertaining or improving. I don't like when people just talk about the game the whole time. Like imagine me playing Mario Kart and I'm just talking about the mechanics of Mario Kart the whole time for three hours every week. That'd be so boring. And I hate when chat rooms are like that too. It's like, stream is supposed to be entertaining. Don't talk about the fucking game for way too long. I robbed them too. What? self report. Oh my god, hi Crystal. Welcome back. Oh, I should have saved it. I need to get better with my item usage, because the way I've kind of mentally trained my brain is if I don't use the- If I don't use the item quick enough, I'll lose it. So that's why I usually just spam. I don't- I don't hold on to stuff as much as I should. I love bullying kids! Well, I don't. What are you guys talking about? You have to put asterisks in Roblox. Like, actually. <laughs> what?
No way. That was so unfair. I was blessed with a star. Kids were bullying you in Fortnite? Most likely. <laughs> the thing I regret about the Fortnite stream is not learning how to aim quicker. I remember the game where I finally learned how to zoom in on the scope. Oh my god. <laughs> I told myself I'd go to the gym at 1. Oh, get off your lazy ass and do something. It's almost 1 o'clock, my guy. Says me. <laughs> Who's your stream? Okay, if you go to the gym, keep the stream open. Easy. Dude, it's lap three. Oh wow, give me a boo boo now. Guys, I promise I'm good at the game. Isn't Mario Kart also a kid's game? No, it's not. There's a big difference. No. It is not a kid's game. Wait, mods run a pool. Okay, you got you guys cannot answer jokingly. This is a very serious poll. You have to answer truthfully. Truthfully. Okay, everybody, go vote. Use your democratic right and vote in the poll. It's on screen. Is Mario Kart a kid's game? I'm voting no. Because it's not marketed towards kids. Some nights I scare myself and I sleep late causing me to wake up early. Why? How do you scare yourself? I feel like that's impossible. It's kind of like how you can't bite your own tongue. It's, it's very hard to do that. Not the split vote. Everybody vote! Use your democratic right and vote in the poll. If there was an it can be, I would have chosen it. You're literally playing a kid's console? Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Just because I'm using the little pro controllers doesn't mean I'm a little baby. It's just easier for my hands. No way it's a tie! No way! You guys are dumb. Learn how to vote properly. Okay, wait, this is my track? Okay, I'm trying. I'm gonna win. For the believers. So I'm genuinely good at this draft. Okay, for those tournaments, do they allow kids to join? I think that's the question we should ask. Oh, I get scared about a ghost? Um... Get to- Oh my god. You guys know my opinions on people who think there's ghosts, right? You think the tournaments are 15 up? Exactly! See? It's not a kid's game. It's a teen game. Wait, are teens kids? Okay, I'm actually playing like trash! I'm so bad. I think the pull results just shook me too much. Oh my god. I double dog whopper dare you to play Minecraft. I'm going backwards. <laughs> A million subs and I'll play Minecraft right now. <laughs> oh my god, it's so far. Oh my god. Give me a bullet bill, please, please. Why am I getting this now? You kind of fell off you. fun, okay? I'm obviously not gonna join those tournaments. Fuck everybody. Contrary to popular belief, I am not losing on purpose. I am actually trying. I want to get home to try and look at a chat room as you play Mario Kart. It is very difficult.
Damn, I should link those layers. <laughs> oh, Deacon Jungle. Actually, my best track. Actually, my best track. What if you get last place next tourney? Then my team would lose. And then none of my teammates would get VIP. <laughs> yeah, quick. <laughs> oh, that sounds like some Aiden Ross bet you're saying right there. Ayo? Camp charting. I have to get first on this race, otherwise the doubters will win once again. I think I have to play a heavy character. I think Lummy's too light. Live stream it? No, that'd be too <laughs> That'd actually be too <laughs> Ideal me. <move. laughs> Make a double whammy. I mean, I think if the Discord server is a million subs, then I think playing Minecraft should be at least like two million subs. Not gonna lie. Cause time is money, and money is time. <laughs> Twitch perma ban speedrun, yeah. I've always not make jokes about banning. We can't be giving people ideas. I'm not getting banned. <laughs> yeah, <'cause laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Talk about doesn't hit anymore. Oh no, oh no, I'm I've lost my lead. Oh wait. Crunchy steak burrito thing? I have no idea what it's called, but it's pretty good. Not expensive though. Wait, no! <laughs> What's the best cereal? I like muffin tops. Because I have that myself. <laughs> Did I get first by one? No, I didn't. We'll stop Mario Kart at 115. And then we'll do Mario Movie reviews. I'm sorry, believers. Okay, final round of predictions. Will I get first by 115 PM? I have 13 minutes to get first. It is possible, everybody. Go Gamba. When was the last time you've gotten first? Shut up, you're so mean. You're supposed to be a good chatter hacker. No, I think I got first like two weeks ago. I think. I never lose on purpose. I promise, I play great offline. It's just the pressure of like being on camera is a lot, which you guys do not understand because none of you guys stream. So. I 
I feel like you've won a lot before. I think it could also be since I'm ranked 7,000 uh, online now. And I'm also getting more 200cc races. So that is also probably contributing to it as well. Like, actually. I stream hashtag add mods banned quacks. No self promo. I will test that theory. I mean, Mac, whenever you do start streaming, it's probably gonna take a while for you to get an active chat room. So honestly, you could probably actually focus on the gameplay. <laughs> no, I was getting too late, mods. The I was kidding defense no longer works. You're 9,000 ranked online? Well, I'm gonna beat that in like three years. Excuses? <laughs> Oh, shut up. I just saw that. You're so mean. Okay, I'm gonna go for this bath. I just wanted to try something different. I wanted to do something new. I think 200cc is more fun. I wish there was like a 175cc, because 150 seems too slow and also 200 is way too fast. Can't wait to look like a fool in the tournament. As long as you're better than me. And that's great. <laughs> Which apparently isn't very difficult. Going for it. Again! There you go, bro. Wait, I'm not in last? Hold? No, my god! Oh, you can't ride on top. Sag. I'll go this way. I never go this way. People who are good at Mario Kart smell bad and they don't shower. You, you should just add Hacker and Crystal next time, Mac, if you're gonna throw shade. <laughs> I have nine minutes, nine minutes. Cheap, cheap, peach, please, 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 please. Please. Wait, so you're saying that I smell great? I'm gonna have a chocolate from February. I showered three hours ago. But did you put deodorant on? Because whenever I wash up and don't put deodorant on right away, I stank. Yeah, there's only 10 people in here. My odds of winning are drastically increased. Dude, this is like the worst track to get a mushroom on. Unless? Yeah, that that could have been better, but that wasn't too bad. <laughs> that guy got boom. He discovered grass, God bless. You know, people have lives. Not everybody's unemployed or can't work. Some people got school, some people are foreign, so the time zones are drastically different. 
once the next um, turning. It will be Monday, April 24th for my birthday stream. Smile. Be there. Anybody who joins the stream on that day and doesn't say happy birthday, they get banned. Slash J slash SRS. Ooh. No, you motherfucker! Oh my god. I, I, I just felt angry. I, I wanted to project. have a full lobby. If my average viewer count is 10, usually like six people play. So it'd be it'd have to be first come first serve. Then we kick out peas? What? It's my birthday. That be so mean. I have five minutes to get first. Yeah you're right Mac it's also a weekday there will be less people playing because people got school and college. Yeah, it will be a team's tourney. So whichever team wins, all everybody gets a VIP. <sighs> Give us the stream game? No. That'd actually be horrible. <laughs> Come on, give me a coconut mall. I need to redeem myself. Just say you're sick. There was one time I canceled a therapy appointment like an hour before and I said I had a headache. And ever since then, any medical appointment I go to, even if it's not therapy, I get a phone call a day ahead. I get a phone call an hour ahead. Because if you cancel that late, you basically get put on a call list for my insurance. And it's annoying. But honestly, I skipped because like some shit happened and I did not want to talk about it. <laughs> I think that was- wait, that was actually- that was actually like the day after my mom said she hated me. <laughs> so I just did not want to talk about it. And I said I had a headache, so I- I lied, but... Whatever. <laughs> I'm over it. I've been able to hold fifth. Fourth? Okay. I'm actually charting. <laughs> what shampoo and conditioner to use? Um, it's this blue bottle. It starts with an L? Not peace I too well, I promise. I know that it's vegan and cruelty free. Okay, I just wanna get top three at least today. I got a second. Just... 
Why does it look like you got hurt by the show? I am actually in so much agony. Dude, I... I don't even have 7,000 points anymore. That sucks. You know what else sucks? Watching ads. Because we are two hours into stream, a little bit late. Oopsie. So I have to run some ads. You can avoid the ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip that coffee and get ad previewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime available. After the- oh, I already ran the ad. We'll do one more game. Because it's technically 114, so I have one final chance to redeem myself. And then we will do- we'll talk about the Mario movie finally. These are all not good tracks. Wait, hold. Hold. This one could maybe be redeemable. No talking. I'm gonna focus. No talking. You guys can talk, but I can't talk. Yelled it. I personally love blueberry muffins, especially the ones that have huge ass bananas. I mean, blueberries in them. <laughs> or pistachio. Because I like the little sugar they put on top. lines. Okay, I didn't hit a single tree that time. How bad? Please! Bro! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Can I get first by 115? No. For the fans, I'll do one more race. I'll do one more. On only one more. Yeah, everybody go follow the art channel, please. Website is launching it in less than two weeks. Ain't no way. Do it for the fans, I will. Hi, Jacob. Welcome in. Did we get some yo's? If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me, but welcome in. I see you on TikTok sometimes. I recognize the user from TikTok, I think. But hello. I'll win this one for you, Jacob. I'll win it for you. Imagine I lose. <laughs> I'll lose just for you. Oh my god, out of everything.
I'm gonna win. This track isn't that bad. It's one of the easier cityscape tracks. See, like, everybody has these blue rollers now. Did I start a trend? Ooh, perfect boost! I think this is mirrored. Yeah, it is. mics you feel like i would bully everyone well technically i think if you have an online there is like an app you can download to get into vc with people who are in the lobby with you i have linked it in one time with my sister but we didn't talk really <laughs> and i would not be talking shit i only talk shit when it's like chatters i don't think i could talk shit on randoms online peace gets road rage okay i played up for camera okay when i play offline i don't scream i don't Throw my controller! I don't do any of that jazz. I'm civil. Oh my god, I turned left! Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, for the fans! For the fans! No way! Second? Who got auto modded? <laughs> Jacob again. <laughs> okay, one more. One more. I'm doing one more. Let's do River Road. Fuck it. One more. If I got second, then I spawn closer to the starting line, so it's gonna be a guaranteed dub. Sorry. Uh, the reason why your message got automated, Jacob, is because just the word gay is... has to be permitted. <laughs> I'm doing one more. I'm not addicted. I'm not addicted. Just one more. For the fans. Wait, I didn't eat my lunch. Shit. Nobody reminded me. Gotta have my protein shake. It's a bad word. Not really. It can either be very happy or very bad. <laughs> Does it taste good? Yeah, this one's vanilla. It's actually really good. I feel like I ask that every time. Because <laughs> during the loading screen where it shows the track preview, I just don't look at it. Oh shit! You <laughs> know it's Mario Kart? Dude, imagine getting 50cc online. That's so cringe. Oh my god, I- I was trying to be cool. I wanted to show off. Okay, I think it's BS how bulldogs can claim an item box for you. That's actually bullshit. You keep running into things? This is why I don't drive in real life, honestly. Whenever people ask me, why don't you drive yet, Peason? I'm just like, look at my Mario Kart gameplay. If I can handle 
Three little buttons? You think I can handle a whole ass steering wheel? I think the answer is no. Driving is so fun. I love breaking too late. This is why I'm glad I'm never gonna meet my chatters in real life. I'd be so scared for my life. Mario Kart taught me how to drive? I think that's kind of bad. <laughs> I'm scared to see you drive then? True! True. If you carry projectiles in your car and whoop them out whenever you feel like you want to tap into that little bit of road rage you experience? It is bad? <laughs> okay, at least you're self-aware. I do a meal. I'm coming for the fans. Okay, it's time to talk about the Mario movie. I'm done. I'm done. I... I got so close, I got two seconds. I got two. Yeah, let's get some Mario music on. Guys, it's the moment you all have been waiting for. We're gonna do a full comprehensive review of the Mario movie. The moment you all have been waiting for. Okay, this is a Super Mario 3D World compilation. Hopefully it's good. <clears throat> I'm changing the title. I can't even hear the music. Oh, there it is. I love the intro music. Okay. So, everybody. The Mario movie has been out for not even a week. And if you haven't seen it at this point, click off the stream. <laughs> Let's change the title. Spoilers. I'm gonna change the pin message as well. So if you have not seen the movie and are planning on seeing it, click off the stream. Or keep the tab open and mute it. And try to read my lips. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> If you haven't seen it, you're not a true fan? Exactly, exactly. I agree. Okay. So. As we're talking about it, I would like everybody to think in the chat what was your favorite moment, what was the most memorable moment, and what was the worst thing. So just keep those three things in the back of your head, and we'll talk about those in a bit. All of it? Your least favorite thing was all of it? Okay. Wait, I posted on Twitter. Wait, let me pull it up. So, everybody. Everybody, I did go outside. I did see the Mario movie in person. Okay? <laughs> So, this is- I went to see it on Saturday. I went to go see it on the weekend. Um... I'll, I'll read out the tweet for the audio listeners. Saw the Mario movie, finally! Visuals were insane. Character design and world bending was immersive. Teared up hearing the orchestral versions of Nintendo themes. I was pogging the whole time. 9 out of 10. And this was the fit. Um, this was the thrift shop fit. If I- 
If my sister is better at taking pictures, I would have had her take a full body fit or picture, but she is bad. Okay. You can't see it, but dude, you can see my fucking tummy at this angle. Tummy? <laughs> I, I will teach her the ways, okay? I went off private to tell you you looked good. Yeah, I saw that, Kim. <laughs> I was like, damn, she's going on public for me? Sheesh. Okay, so I saw the movie on Saturday. And... I went Saturday, like, midday. Because they offered discounts from morning to midday showings. So we got, like, 10% off. Yay. And this was my first time ever going to an AMC theater. I usually go to Regal, because those are the only theaters that were in, like, my hometown. Um, so... I'm, I'm gonna talk about that real quick. The chairs at AMC Theaters, hashtag not sponsored. We're so comfortable. They're like huge and they're reclining. I didn't recline. I just put my feet up. But it's so comfy. Because I think being comfortable is so important when you're experiencing something, right? And my sister and I, we also got curly fries. And I felt so bad because we got to the theater because the showing started at 3.15. We got there at like 2.50, so like 20-ish minutes before the movie started. And there was only one guy checking people in. And I felt so bad. And, because there was like, first it was just me and my sister in the lobby. And then there was like people coming in, so there was like 10 families behind us. And, you know what I think would be great? We hate automation, okay? We hate machines. But you know how when you go to a subway and they have like the little bars and if you scan your ticket or your bus pass, it opens the bars? I think that would be cool to integrate in a movie theater. That way people who do buy ahead can just go through the gates and just scan their little QR and walk through. I think that'd be great. Um, architects, listen to me. Um, so we checked in and I was getting annoyed because there was like a bunch of like... Okay, the only people that cut the line were like middle-aged white women, so... I'm just stating facts. Because, like, there was, like, women, the people who pre bought tickets, um, there were these three middle aged women with their kids, and they all skipped the line because they were like, oh, I have digital tickets. When you weren't supposed to skip the fucking line. So that annoyed me. But it's fine. It's fine. Um, I did not sneak anything in. Wait, I have a different story. <laughs> okay, so. Before the movie started, because we got- because we took the bus to the theater, my sister and I. Because neither of us can drive. And there was a pet store nearby, because we were just walking around the shopping complex, and there was a pet store. So we were like, oh, we can buy the little kitten treats, because one of my roommate's parents there, they have a stray cat that just hangs out in their garage, so they just feed it. We're trying to get- we're trying to convince them to let us adopt it and keep it here. Because we love cats, and I will take very good care of it. So we were like, oh, we can buy the little, little cat treats. So we got treats, and we didn't bring, like, a bag. Because we weren't playing on shopping. So my sister, she stuffs, like, a little bag of treats in her coat pocket. And it's sticking out a little bit. It's this bright pink bag. So she's walking into the theater with a the little cat treat bag sticking out of her pocket. So all I can think was like people looking at her and being like, why is she bringing in cat treats to the theater? That's kind of weird. So... <laughs> oh my god. Anyway. See the cat is good for disability? Yes, I know, but... They don't care. <laughs> not that- okay, not that they don't care, but that's not a good enough argument. Because the only argument we're trying to convince them on is... Cleaning in terms of cleaning up fur, but that's easy. That's easy. Got a vacuum, and then you get them anti-shedding shampoo. Easy. Anyway, hopefully we can have the cat. If not, I'll be fine. If we do, I'll be very happy. Cats stink though. Just cut off your nose. Okay. So we check in. My sister was like, "Oh my god, I want to get the popcorn tins." So we wait in line. And at AMC, they have, like, the premium membership program, right? So there's a separate line for the premium people. And my sister's like, hey, we should go wait in that aisle because there's no line. And I'm like, dumbass, that sign says it's for premium members. And she's like, well, we can just wait in the line still. I'm like, no. No. <laughs> the Lulu's. We wait in line. 
And she's like, hey, do you guys have the popcorn tins? And they're like, no, we're out. And my sister was sad. Because that was like the whole reason why she wanted to go see the movie again. Because she saw the movie initially the day it came out. Anyway, so we got curly fries instead. And the way that the theater was set up, they had one station for popcorn where you pay for everything. And then another station across the room where they had fried and hot items. So like pop, or not popcorn, they had hot dogs, french fries. So we got curly fries. So we go eat at the fry station. And our ticket was the only ticket on screen. It took the guy like 15 minutes to make the fries. Which I have no idea why it took so long. Granted, everybody working that day was literally teenagers. So, cut them some slack, okay? Um, so, as we're waiting for our freaking fries, everybody else is getting served. So, like, ten people who ordered after us got their food before us. Yeah, he was working by himself. I felt really bad, but still, I was like, bro, how... Dropping fries is probably the easiest thing you can do out of all your things on the menu. Anyway, so my sister was getting annoyed because like she's never worked like a service service job so she understands it but she doesn't like fully understand the struggle it can be to like work by herself when you have like 10 tickets on the screen. Did he change gloves? No. Well that's because nothing they were handling was direct contact. So I, I usually don't get too iffy or too uppity if I see if it's a food place where they don't touch the food directly. Because it's like, are you really going to complain? Like, I feel like if I were to speak up then, it's kind of like, oh, it makes me look really bad. Um, so we get our fries. They were actually really good. Because <laughs> uh, it was like a, actually, it was a pretty big box of fries. Like, it was more than enough for both my sister and I, but we ate it in like two minutes. Because we were so hungry. <laughs> So, we go in the theater, and we've never been to an AMC theater, and usually, because the, when we bought the tickets online, it was so frustrating because I would reserve seats, and then whenever I would go to the checkout tab, it said, oh, these seats are taken, you'll have to choose other seats, and that happened five times, so I was scared that we weren't going to get tickets, but we did, thankfully. Um, so... The way that the seats were numbered, it was weird because a okay, picture this is the theater, so the rows go this way. So it would number seats one through fifteen or one through fourteen, and then they'd have letters for each of the rows. But they didn't like clearly label the rows because we were in like E13. So we were supposed to be sitting here, but we accidentally sat in the row in front because it wasn't clear which letter each row was. So we were sitting enjoying our little fries and then a couple comes up to us they were like are you guys sitting in this seat and we're like yeah we are they were like i think you have your our seats and i was like oh you're right and we moved and it was fine but when the movie started the theater was only halfway full and i was like that's weird and then because like obviously because there was only like two people checking people in at the front door it's obvious that people were just waiting in line because by the time the movie like actually started like after previews like the theater was filled and it was filled with families little kids so i was concerned i was like oh no they're gonna be annoying as shit um, but thankfully the kids there was no screaming kids there was no kids being like oh my god whenever mario would be on screen they were actually really nice we got really lucky um okay now let's actually talk about the movie. So if you have stuck around this much and you want to avoid spoilers, mute the stream or click off. Okay? This is your final warning. Final warning. Okay. I said this when they showed the initial trailer of the Bowser sequence. Right? Where his kingdom attacks the ice castle. I, I, I explicitly remember saying this sequence is to show the actual production value and like design aspects of the movie and i was right because that was still the opening sequence of the movie and i think that was still the most memorable um moment from the movie in my opinion there were a lot of things that stuck out to me in that sequence i think it showed really good character design it showed a little bit of what the humor would be like um i know a lot of people were shitting on it but it gives you like a good taste of what the movie is going to be like in terms of theme 
right? I think the thing that I genuinely remember so well that showed really good character design is the sequence where, um, on Bowser's castle where the, the door goes down and all the Koopas roll down the ramp and then they pop out of their shells. That shows really good character design because if you think about it practically, um, they, with that sequence when the door opens, they could have had all the little army men marching, right? But they chose not to. They had them in their shells rolling down and then popping out. That kind of showed and tell the viewers who might not know Mario that those are turtles or Goopas, right? And the sequence where like the Koopas are jumping off the ship and then they dive and then they have the wings is very reminiscent of like, you know, those jet airplane shows? Um, so I think a lot of themes you'll see in American film is spectacle. And that was one of the main things in... What was the most recent... Nope, nope. That was one of the most recent films in Nope, right? Where everything um, has to be epic. Everything has to be bombastic. And I think that opening sequence is a prime example of it. If you listen to the movie soundtrack, which it actually is set... As I did homework on Sunday, I listened to the Mario movie soundtrack just to like listen to it. Um, there's a lot of orchestral, a lot of, like, uh, how do I explain it? A lot of songs that make everything seem more impactful than it actually is. And that's a lot of, like, music score and theory you'll see in, like, American films. Kind of, like, making everything seem more important than it actually is. Um... The opening sequence was insane. Visually amazing, really good design elements. The only thing I didn't really like was the little wizard guy. I think that was kind of dumb. I think they relied on that crutch a little too much. I like the wizard guy was obviously the comic relief, but and eh, eh, could have been done better. Um, why are you haunting poor bastard? But I don't want to show my vocabulary. Okay, other things that stood out to me. The terms of plot. Okay. The transition of going from the Bowser sequence to the Mario Brothers, like, TV commercial was very jarring to me. Like, it, it didn't really make any sense. Like, it, it, to me, it seemed like there should have been, like, a more easier transition. I think it kind of alludes to the theme of, like, reality versus, like, I guess, fiction. Um, because... You know, the Bowser world is theoretically fiction, and then the real world is in the commercial. But in the commercial, they're already kind of in, like, their fantasy world, too. You didn't like Kamek? What's that? Is that the wizard's name? Okay. What else? I think there was- I was talking to my sister about it right after the movie ended. I was like, there was a lot more, like, story building and lore for, like, the Mario Brothers than I anticipated. Like, I thought, like, I initially thought that Mario and Luigi were already in, like, the Mario world. I didn't realize they were in, like, the real world. I mean, they definitely alluded to, like, the sequence where they're in the uh, Fire Flower Field and Peach is like, Oh, there's, like, infinite galaxies. It makes sense that there might be other people like me. Um, I did not think they were gonna do, like, a real world mario lore i didn't think that at all that was kind of interesting um i liked how they're just regular brooklyn italian plumbers yeah i'm walking here <laughs> um, that was i was not expecting that at all and i feel like like the backstory part i feel like was it felt too long almost I don't know. Are Mario and Peach canon to you? I think not. Because there was that one dialogue when they were on the Rainbow Road track and then Donkey Kong was, oh yeah, she'll never get with you. Or it was like, oh, are you going to get with her or some shit? And she's like, oh, no way. It's kind of like... Kind of poking fun at the people who kind of anticipate the two male and female leads to, to bang, you know? 
And similar, okay, the themes concerning like family and platonic love reminded me so much of Frozen. Because you know how where um, Anna gets frozen and then Anna or Elsa melts her because they love each other so much? <laughs> I'm so glad they didn't kiss. Yeah, that would have been stupid. Because they were obviously going with Peach, like obviously like girl boss, super feminism. Sorry, I, it it wasn't as on the nose as I thought it would be. Because remember when we were watching the trailers and it showed the one frame of Peach in like her little um, racing suit and she's being like all aggro. And I was like, oh, I hate this. Because like too on the nose, like feminine, feminism is is too much for me. Like it's, I like representation, but I don't like when it's like too much. Yeah, I agree. I think they did a really good job of not making Peach too overbearing. Because I don't like when people who are, like, girl bossy are too arrogant. She, Her character did not seem arrogant. Like, she showed compassion towards her constituents, constituents like the, the toads and stuff. Like, she showed that she respects their opinions, like, in that council sequence. Um, so I think, I think Peach's character was the best cohesively. Um, that's why, like, when I was saying in my tweet, like, Demersion is pretty good. Um, I've seen some reviews of the movie, like, some little murmurings that people will say, and a critique that I agreed with that I heard was that there was a lot of, like, still or, like, way too long landscape sequences just to show off the renderings of the world. And I feel like that kind of makes sense. Like, not necessarily every moment has to be filled with action and dialogue after dialogue. So I think those sequences were nice, but to me, the way that the movie was paced was it reminded me of Wizard of Oz how they have to like get people to add to their team. Right? They had to get the Donkey Kong army. But that was it. Right? That was all they needed. Yeah, that was it. Never mind. <laughs> Uh, you know, I was saying there's no such thing as an original story. That's what I mean. It's like There's always gonna be allusions to other stories Um Okay, yeah, let's talk about voice actors My thing with having celebrities be voice actors I don't like when they do full characters. I want to be able to hear their voice and it still sound like them. Um, even though Bowser played Jack Black, he didn't fully do a voice or character. He still let his actual voice, um, play out, right? Only a couple of them were? Yes. To me, um, Bruce Brett. I'm really bad with names, so I'm just gonna say the characters. So Mario... Toad and Luigi, the voices in the movie did not sound anything like their celebrity actors, right? So in my opinion, full characters, if you're gonna do voice acting, just hire an actual voice actor. You, you do not need to hire a celebrity just to get a name on your billboard. That to me is dumb. That will attract some people to go to the theater, primarily adults. You know, if I have a little five-year-old, I'm like, Oh my god, Chris Pratt is in this movie? Ain't no way. Maybe I'll go. But, since those three primarily did full-on actual, like, voices, and didn't have their actual voice show at all in the movie, they could have just hired anybody. They could have hired anybody. I don't think a lot of people will agree with me on that, but... Like... <laughs> I liked how Bowser and then Donkey Kong sounded like Jack Black and then Seth Rogen. What Loki pissed me off is that they actually had the Mario voice actor do a cameo, so they full well could have been Mario the voice actor. I agree. Um, the only reason why they do celebrities is so it appeals to an American audience. I don't know about how... They cast voice actors for, um, like, foreign releases, like dubs. I'm not sure. 
But for American release, they fully rely on the name recognition and ethos. I don't like Seth Rogen putting no effort in Donkey Kong's voice. I feel like it's fine. You like that it wasn't just a straight-up adaptation of the games, but for sound... I don't know. Okay, the- okay, the part that I laughed the most at... I love... Seth Rogen's laugh. Just because it's been memed so much. And there was a part, I think, in the sequence when Mario is fighting Donkey Kong, where, like, Seth Rogen does, like, his laugh, <laughs> and... I was the only person who laughed in the theater. Like, I was laughing so hard. Uh... <laughs> it's just like the... <laughs> Wait, I can't do it. I can't... I'm not even gonna try. That was bad. Um... I'm trying to think of what else. I think the movie was very fun. It... To me, it didn't necessarily keep me engaged the whole time because it wasn't as punchy as it could have been. Like, the pacing, it could have been faster, in my opinion. I thought the Luma was too on the nose. It was, it was, it was fine, but it was too, like, clear what the joke was going to be. Like, I like when commentary and jokes is a bit more subtle. Like... It was like unnecessary, like depressing jokes. It didn't really make sense. Um. Okay. Let's see. I talk about VA. There's one more thing I want to. Okay, shot direction. One of the glories of making 3D animated movies is the way you can manipulate your shots and camera in in a sequence, right? Like since you since the animators and the 3D modelers can make any world they want in their little computers. They can also place the camera however they want in the scene and move it however they like. So Wait, I'm trying to remember. Um but one of the wait, let me see. There was- there was a trailer that played before. It was a duck movie. Let me find it. I don't know if anybody else saw the trailer, because I know different theaters play different trailers. It was like Migrate or something? Migration movie. Okay, Animated Family Duck Sword Illumination's first migration trailer. Okay. Did anyone see the migration trailer play in theaters? Um, because that was one of the trailers that played during our showing. And I think the sequence where it shows... Okay. The ducks, like, flying. Like, going from the water and then flying. And then they fly to the clouds. Like, that shot would be impossible to do in person, right? But when you're given the tools with like 3D models and stuff, and being able to manipulate the camera however you like, you can get some really insane shots um, that aren't practical. Your previews were just movie trivia? <laughs> well, well. Anyway, so the main point was I. Okay, the one sequence that really stuck to me, uh, a sequence type that's really impressive just in the normal film industry, is. Um, like a one-take moving shot, right? So the sequence where the Mario Brothers are running from... Because their car broke down and then they're running from the restaurant to the resident's house. So it's like a side-scrolling sequence where they're, um, basically platforming through a construction zone. I love that shot so much because doing that shot in real life would be... Very difficult to do in one take, and like just parkour. I grew up watching like parkour compilations on YouTube, so just that sequence is really nice, really satisfying to watch. And I think in that sequence too, 
it showed how much more confident Mario is because he's going for like the more tricky shots. He's doing the more risky jumps and stuff and Luigi's staying on the ground for the most part, barely making his jumps. I think it really shows what their baseline like characters are like, even if they don't have a lot of dialogue yet. Um. Yeah, I saw it in regular 2D. I don't like 3D movies in general. Okay, what else stood out to me? Okay, I started tearing up when the credits started playing because it... What was the song called? The, the final song was like, just a compilation of like Mario songs. I think it's called Level Up. But it's so good. I would play it on stream, but I can't. The 4D Rainbow Road was wild. I could imagine. I would probably yak. Hey, what else? Oh my- I was annoyed at my sister because the sequence where, um... What is her name? The brunette lady. Pauline, Pauline. My sister, she was like, Look, look, look at the TV! I was like, shut up! You're not supposed to talk in the theater! <laughs> um... I think that was a cute little reference. I think I enjoy the movie for what it was. It was still, like, a very fun watch. I still think the most surprising part was, like, having Mario and Luigi in the real world. I did not anticipate that at all. Because they didn't... I don't think they showed that in the trailers at all. I think they just showed, like, the, the Super Mario world. I hate how they made Luigi weak. Ah, isn't Luigi like the the wimp anyway? Out of the brothers, like canon. I do like how they didn't save Princess Peach either. I like that because this movie is about platonic love. Okay, I was watching the Meat Canyon or Meat Canyon video talking about the Mario movie. And he was saying that Mario and Luigi give some incest vibes, and I was like, oh yeah, there is. I get that too. Like I feel like everybody saw that, but nobody wanted to say it, you know what I mean? Huh? <laughs> okay, what else? Is there anything else you guys want to share? Because I know you guys have been like hands at the keyboard waiting to talk about this all week. You didn't? I did not. You guys are lying. You guys are lying. You guys are like Wattpad freaks. How did you not see it? Y'all sure was the Mario movie? <laughs> You're trolling. Okay, anybody else have thoughts? <laughs> guys, stop it! You guys are trolling. The lack of Yoshi made you salty? I agree. I There was the one sequence when they were traveling like through all the different worlds where they basically just speed ran going through all the kingdoms and then they arrived at the Donkey Kong Kingdom. That was kind of lame. Like there was like two seconds where you saw like a herd of Yoshis on the screen. I think they kept certain things out so they can open the idea of spin-off movies. I feel like it's... It's setting up for like a like a Netflix original series. The ice flower sequence is top tier. Oh my god, Peach's wedding outfit. Okay. She had a choker on. It reminded me of like, you know the people who made like Bowsette cosplays? <laughs> yeah, I agree, I hated King Boo's model. It was so dumb. Yeah, I saw both. Yeah, I saw both um, ending credits. The thing I don't really understand is how, like, just some random-ass green pipe in New York 
led to the Super Mario World. I don't understand that at all. I don't get it. <laughs> also, when like the big leak happens in downtown Brooklyn and Mario is convinced that he can save it when there's like city plumbers on site, Mario's just extremely naive and I think his parents kind of emphasize that to him when they're like, oh, you shouldn't have started your own business. You shouldn't have, son. Okay, anything else? Anything else you guys want to blurt out? I want to watch it again, but no one's going to want to go with me. Peach is hot. Gage. I'm sad that there was no Rosalina. I really wanted her. Mods. Yeah, no Daisy. Wait, did anybody see the people cosplaying as Peach, Rosalina, and Daisy, like, all together in, like, racing outfits? Did you guys see that TikTok? Holy. Do you think there's gonna be a sequel? Yeah. Yeah. Like, the, the second post credit scenes, it alludes to it. But we're probably not going to get a sequel for many, many years. If people dress up for your showing, no. It was just a lot of kids. I don't think I saw any- I think the most that I saw was just like kids wearing like Mario shirts. Like nobody's wearing a full on like- Nobody's wearing a cap even. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, I don't think there's- Is there anything else? I gotta end stream soon, guys, because I gotta go do errands. <clears throat> Anybody else want to share? Anybody else want to put, like, five paragraphs into the chat? Give your full review of the movie? <laughs> yes? Uh-oh. Okay, well, Chaz... I think we can wrap up stream for now. If anybody wants to do calligraphy, go ahead and redeem or donate to the channel. It was the best movie I've seen in ages. Okay, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> you need to watch more movies. I didn't like all the random slow motion they did with Mario. I agree. I hate slow mo sequences in any movie. I think it's overused. I think it's made its purpose is to add runtime. It's dumb. Controversial but true. Can we have a Pitch Perfect watch party? I've never seen it. It's not bad. Okay, everybody, it's going every time. If you want to write your name, all I gotta do is donate to the channel or use your channel points. Any redeemers? Yeah, the cam should be working. While I'm getting the cam set up, everybody go follow my art channel. I have separate channels for my paintings. Look at these! Ain't no way you can buy these in less than two weeks. Website is launching. It'll be public next week. Go follow. It's hashtag free to follow. My Twitch channel is also tagged in the title. Yeah, it works. Yeah, it does work. <laughs> The Mario Brothers movie was one of the best movies of all time. Wasn't it like the highest grossing animated film of all time? And hi, Gokes. Can we get some yokes? Hmm. 
<laughs> the Bible. <laughs> it's a cop-out answer. That's how you went over your priest, not your chat room. Okay. It beat Frozen too. <laughs> so dumb. Yeah, let's see you redeemed. I've never read I've never read the Bible. Should I be cancelled? The only thing I don't like about this new setup is that I can't easily look at chat. Because I'm facing this way. Nobody, nobody say bad words. Say the P word. Next time you're gonna get timeout, Mac. I'm not even joking. Ooh, lid. Hey, should should we make should we allow poo? Oh my god, bye Kim. Bobos in the chat? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Thank you. <laughs> Someone got paid? <laughs> True. Let's see who got it. <laughs> um, Ed. Oh, Coke's got it. You lucky little shit. <laughs> um, Rainy and Jacob. They were in chat earlier. Enjoy that gifted sub, Jacob. Have fun with the emotes. He's trapping you. Guys, I have to do errands today. I have to go mail a package. I have to mail a painting. Share the wealth. <laughs> but thank you, Kobobo. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now you're not- I actually have to mail it today, because I was supposed to mail it yesterday, but they were closed because it was holiday, technically. But thank you, Kobobo! Five gifted, let's fucking go! Let's see. I need to see what time the bus leaves. Maybe? Hmm. We'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow, because I probably won't get back till like 5, because it takes forever to get to the post office. I'll do it tomorrow. Also, Kobobo, do you want a art stream or a Stardew Valley stream? Tell me now. I'll do it tomorrow. But thank you once again for the 5 gifted. That's a lot, so thank you. Oh, you are eligible for... A sketch card. Since you gifted five subs. Let's go. I guess. Dude, I'm busy today. That's why I had the sub goal. Oh, I had it at 70. Start you? Okay, well, the start of Valley tomorrow after the new game. You guys want to see what the new game is? Oops, wrong scene. It's this. A space for the Unbound. This was one of the pixel story games that we saw during a direct a few months ago. So we'll be starting that tomorrow for the new story game slot. Smile. Get back to work. 
Also, I'm sorry the alerts don't work. Streamlabs is still sucky today. Bubbles name. I'll do it after the redemptions, okay? Oh, it wasn't on cam. Oopsie. We had Mac. Have to take a PSAT. Do you actually have to take the SAT? Because I know for some colleges you need it and then some you don't. I, mine wasn't required, so I just didn't take it. I'm a grape. You don't like it? What? What do you think of Mario and Luigi's family? Uh, I think they were adequately like critical. So I don't think they were too mean. Oh, you meant more like design-wise? Okay, I wasn't really paying attention to character design, like the actual physical models, as much. They sounded super critical. I think there's. Hmm. I, I think there's a difference between criticizing, like being mean, mean. And then criticizing because you're worried about their well-being. It's kind of like, um... Coddling? Is that what it is? I feel like a lot of the criticisms they had concerning, like, his business were more concerned over, like, his ability to provide for himself and the success of it. They kept giving unwanted opinions. <laughs> I mean, okay. Growing up from a family that would say, like, really mean shit? I feel like it could have been worse, let's say. I don't know. But it doesn't seem like making his parents proud was the main motivator for Mario's, like, actions. Yeah, some of the- I agree. Some of the family members were making fun of him. I do agree with that. I don't know. I honestly wasn't really paying attention to those sequences because I knew that they weren't going to be like important to the plot as much. But, like if I were to watch it again, then I would pay more attention. And like, I don't think a little kid watching that sequence would really understand what's going on. Yeah, but I'm old and hits too close to home. That's why they put it in, baby! Yeah, I'm sorry that the camera's moving. I have no way to fix that. Yeah, I think it was kind of interesting seeing the dynamic of Donkey Kong's relationship to his father and then Mario's with his father, right? I feel like they connected! Okay, 
gave me a cold bobo with five gifted to the chat once again. Thank you. I appreciate it a lot. You help unlock a bonus subscriber only stream for tomorrow. Let's go. Okay, chatters, let's go. If you want me to write your name, all you gotta do is donate to the channel or use your channel points. Last call. Any redeemers? Y'all got five, four, three, two, one, and we're done. Okay. I would like to thank everybody for watching. Any chatters, lurkers? Fuck you, cool bobo. <laughs> See, now you're doing what Keelan does. There we go. Okay, now we're done. So I gotta go get shit done. Change of painting! Okay, let's change the painting first, everybody. Look at these! Aren't these very cool and fog and nice? You can get one of, one of these for yourselves in the upcoming weeks because my art website to start selling replicas of these paintings. Certified replicas, they are not prints. They're actual physical paintings, for example. I'm working on this one. I had to let the paint dry. So this is the base for this painting. You can see the colors are slightly... Oh, there's a shadow. Ew. The colors are slightly different. This one is a lot more brighter because I wanted to go with a brighter color palette for the replica. So, well, this looks really nice on camera. Holy. Um, this one is obviously not finished. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to get a painting for yourself, go follow my Twitch art channel. I also have an Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok for my art accounts. I will be doing a launch stream on April 21st, Friday, where I will be giving away a free replica and two, two $50 gift cards to the shop. Basically, you'll be getting like 20% off a painting. Smile. Oh, this one. The basic bitch painting. This is called Faux Barcode. It has a pink to green color shift and then gold metallic paint. Because most of the works feature an iridescent powder. Ta da! Okay, back to calligraphy. Thank you for redeeming, Keelan. Okay, it's a lavender. I promise it's there. Write them in crystal. Calm down, it's fine. Jeez. But look, your name is Les, so we'll see it tomorrow. Calm down. Can we talk about the infamous Seth Rogen who had me shaking my head? Or oh, laughing my head up? I love Seth Rogen, he's great. And he also does ceramics and pottery. Super artsy. 
It's cool. Okay, everybody, I'm ending stream. I have to go nail shit. You guys want to see? Okay, this package has no label on it because I have to print it at the post office. But look. First official painting. Ready for shipment. It's done. Um, this is for a friend. They, they're gonna decide if they want to post it or not. Cause this was just a trial to see how well the packaging holds up. I'll be asking for um to send out portrait cards probably next week. Cause I I want to put all my time into getting ready for the website. So don't worry, Mac, you'll be getting it. But look, it's huge. This is also a pain in the ass because since the paintings are 12 by 16, I had to get custom boxes. So packaging alone, $5, which isn't bad, but it would be a lot cheaper if I could get like a standard shape box. But look. Ready for shipping. I'm so excited. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you all for watching. Thank you once again for Bobo for gifting and smashing our sub goal. Holy moly. Thank you once again. Um, I'm excited. I've been working hard. Your post office gives away free stuff? Yeah, because I think USPS gives away the free... Like, the priority shipping. Like, you know the boxes that have the white red and blue labels on it, but the paintings were too big. Man. Bye, Jacob! Thank you for hanging out today. I hope you had fun. We hope to see you again, man. Hope you had fun. Okay, bye. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, we'll be starting a new game! New story game, so if you wanna not miss a single stream that, watch tomorrow. If you're already following, make sure your notifications turned on, that way you don't miss a single stream! Holy moly! Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Oh, bye, Keelan. I forgot that I was... <laughs> oh, mega low. Wait, shit. I gotta figure out which bus I gotta take. Because, like, there's so many bus routes that overlap in my area, it's kind of confusing. Bye, Keelan. I had fun today, man. I was, oh, damn it, I was off by one number. Because I have most of, I know most, I have the, like, the bus routes memorized, but I don't have, like, the, the numbers. I'm not gonna say the number, I'm not dumb. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new story game, a space for the Unbound, and a sub-only stream. Okay, bye guys. Bye.